guys, welcome back to Life of Claire. Today's video is going to be kind of like a first, it's a first impression. It's going to be a really short video, first of all. Just letting you guys know ahead of time. It's honestly just testing out these lip products that I found at uh, Marshalls, TJ Maxx. I actually was kind of like tricked. Or maybe I just wasn't paying attention. So I thought that these were lipsticks. I mean, they are kind of lipsticks. Um, where can you guys see the logo? I don't know if you guys can see. There you go. So I thought these were lipsticks from Lush. Actually, Lush. Like Lush, they, they make natural products. They do makeup. They, I mean, are famous for their bath bombs and their soaps. If you guys don't know what Lush is, have you been living under a rock? So I thought these were from them, but they're not. The logo is, like, identical to Lush's logo. But no, this is actually... Lush Lips by Style Essentials. I've never heard of that brand before. I've never even seen any of their products. So I picked this up thinking it wasn't. It came in a little black like four lipstick unicarton thingy my bobber. Um, so I picked this up thinking that they were Lush products. I was like, oh cool, I'll do like a mini lip swatch, a mini review, see how these are. But they weren't. I took a closer look at it. When I got home, I found that it was not what I thought it was. But there are four colors. It goes from like lightest pink to the deepest pink right there. But this says, so Lush Lips Glossy Stain. So I'm assuming that they are stains for your lips. So we're going to go ahead and test them out, swatch them, do all that jazz. So I'm going to go ahead and take off this lipstick that I have on right now. And then I'll be right back. If you guys are interested in the lip combo I am wearing, I am wearing Milani Amori Matte Lip Cream in Crush and Ofra's, um, or should I say Kathleen's collab with Ofra. And this is Miami Fever. Okay, so that is as good as it's going to get with the lips. We're going to go ahead, I'm going to do some swatches for you. This one is the lightest shade. They don't have any names. So this is the packaging, just kind of like a clear plastic. Oh. Oh, they're not lipstick. It's literally a gloss. That is the applicator right there. Pretty short. Do you know what this smells like? Remember that pink medicine you used to get as a kid when you were sick? It tastes like bubblegum. That is what this smells like. So this is the lightest shade. I'm going to do a quick lip application and uh, I will show you a swatch of my hand but as you can see it is not um, sticky whatsoever like usually you can do the lip test where you see if how long your lips will stay stuck together but look at it feels like an oil like a little bit thicker than an oil that's how it feels like so that is the first color now it's supposed to stain your lips I am not exactly sure how long you're supposed to keep this on your lips, but in the meantime, while that kind of sets and sits, I'm going to do some swatches so you can see. So this is the first one that I have on right now. So it's fairly pigmented. Whoa, this one's like neon. That is so bright. Holy smokes. I don't know why they're all pink though. Like, if I was going to get a four pack, why would I need four pink shades? Doesn't make any sense. They should have done some other colors. This is the third one. That's a horrible swatch. There you go. And the last one I actually really like. It's kind of like a deep... Oh, wait. I lie. It's not a deep berry. This one looks really bright, too. And this is the final one. I mean, that's still a pretty color. So those are all four right there. Again, I don't... I don't know why you would need four pink shades, but... Right. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and wipe this off. It's supposed to stain your lips. So let's see if it actually did that. It's hard to tell because I had that red lipstick underneath or that, that red um, liquid lipstick on top earlier. Maybe. I see some more pink. Maybe I should try like a deeper color. I'm going to try that last shade that I swatched. This is so bright. I love the gloss though. Like your lips just look like glass. That is how a gloss should be. Like this. 
Um, so I will say when I'm doing the applications, you do have to go in. I go in about four times just to get like an even coat. Um, it is pigmented. I mean, there's obviously pigment there, but it does um, end up getting a little bit streaky. But let's check with this one to see if uh, this one stains the lips a little bit better. I would say at least like two minutes past, so let's go ahead and wipe this off. It's still super glossy. It doesn't feel heavy. It feels super light. It never dries out, like dries down at all. So let's see. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so that really stained the lips. That darker one definitely did. They're a lot more pink. And they feel super hydrated. They feel really, really nice. So, final thoughts. I will say my favorite color out of all of them would be this one. It's definitely the more wearable out of the bunch. I like the formula. It's very hydrating, very creamy, but not too thick. It's not super sticky. It's not sticky at all. It just feels really just like smooth and hydrating. Doesn't burn the lips, doesn't irritate the lips. It does stain though. So, I felt like a stain like... You know how Korean makeup has the lip stains where you basically apply it, it applies like this, super ultra glossy, and then it just dries and you peel it off and that's and that, like that type of stain? This is not the case. You definitely have to kind of leave it on. It stays wet the whole entire time and then once you wipe it off, your lips are tinted pink. All in all, I like them. I like glosses, so I'll probably wear them like in the house and I want to just like look alive a little bit. <laughs> Um, or maybe on top of something, or maybe if you're doing like an everyday natural look, um, but you don't want to wear a lipstick and you don't want really want to wear a gloss, so you just put this on, wipe it off, and your lips are, um, pigmented or have a little bit of color to them. Um, but honestly, I would say I really like them just for, just because of how hydrating they are. Oh, I didn't even tell you guys the price. I paid three dollars. Um, you could find them at TJ Maxx and I also found them online on Amazon. A couple people sell them but I will say Amazon is more expensive so maybe just try your hand at a TJ Maxx or Marshalls before going on Amazon to see if you want to purchase any of these. Um, but yeah that basically completes this video. If you want me to test out any other makeup um, please leave a comment down below. Please be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And of course, guys, I will see you in my next video. Bye.